Hi everybody, it's Joseph Shepard live from DragCon 2022. And I'm so excited because I get to bring on one of my good Judies who we had some drinks at the Abbey a while back. We did indeed. Oh, and I did. did get a little drunk. Uh, but we had a fun time. We had a great fun time. We had time. a great time, yes. It's Lawrence Cheney. Lawrence Cheney! Lawrence? You won your season, Drag Race UK. Season, season two. two. Yes. During the Pandy. Yep, the Pandy D. And then UK season three came around during the Pandy. So this is the first time you've been at a drag con. First time. But do you know what I find comfort in? It's the first time a lot of us have been at drag con, which yes. is nice. Because you find there's loads of queens here that have done drag con over and over and over again loads of times that Jiggly said to me, oh, this is your first time? <laughs> it's my million. <laughs> I was like, go on, bitch. But it's, it's just so just over the top. And mm -hmm. I, I just can't kind of believe how major this event is. Right? Like it's, I, I'm used to performing in like a small little club. And, you know, I went away to film Drag Race and then all the clubs shut. So I'm just not used to this level, this of, level of people, this amount of people all out to watch drag. Yeah. It's just amazing. Really, really amazing. What has it been like meeting fans from all over the world? Like in one place? Just, it, it's bizarre. I, I used to start saying, oh, so you're from Los Angeles. And everyone's like, no, 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 no. no. I'm from <laughs> Texas. I'm from Canada. There's people from Germany here. I mean people from all over so it's um just yeah just kind of a dream come true it's i, I just can't believe everyone like me has traveled for this event mm -hmm. you didn't win a hundred thousand dollars but I did not what has been the greatest thing to come from dragon what would you say your biggest prize has been I don't know, I, I, I guess this is very corny, but I'm a huge, huge Drag Race fan, as you know, we've yes. spoken about it loads of times, but I just love Drag Race so much, every franchise of it, I watch every episode religiously, so to meet these queens that I've looked up to from all around the world, yes. queens like Manila, Art, Simone, all these queens are just so, so amazing, and I can't believe I'm in the same room as yes. them. And they know my name yes. because little old RuPaul said Lawrence Cheney and now all of a sudden people know my name. It's just bizarre. It's really a pinch me moment. Can you imagine if she would have been like Lawrence Cheney? Like if it was a totally different thing? If it was a totally different... Everyone always asks me, that's the, my biggest question I'm getting asked is, am I bored yet of people saying Lawrence Cheney? Are you? And I will never be bored of that. Because think it's just like... Oh, yeah, how awful is my life? People know my name. So you can't complain about that. A far time down the road when you pass and it's your funeral. When you, pa <laughs> when you pass. Would you want whoever was giving the eulogy to be like, all right, and here lies Lawrence Cheney. Like, is that what you would want? I want RuPaul to do my funeral. So he need, so he'll be in Frozen and he needs to become unfrozen. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be in Walt Disney's fridge. Yes. He'll be defrosted. Yes. Um, RuPaul's going to be defrosted and do my funeral. <laughs> uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be so much fun. Because it needs to be RuPaul to just, you know, give it that ambiance. Yes. And I, I need a... <laughs> I need RuPaul's laugh and then at Lawrence Cheney as everyone is in the room is crying. And then as you were going down into the ground or however you want to go. You're yeah, going down to hell. Yeah. yeah. It, this is the beginning we'll play like the, the outro yeah. song. Yeah. This is the, no. Beginning. If I dream yes. everything. <laughs> yes. That's the song. Now, yeah. Lawrence, I have my bowl with the hole. You're going to stick your hand in that. And pull out a question. All I'm going to say is my hole's bigger. Oh, well, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Listen, it's always a good thing to be gaped. <laughs> anyway, right. Let me. Right. That was a lot of fingering there. Yes. <laughs> right. Do you want me to read it out yes. and answer it? What did you steal from the show, if anything? Now I know the answer to this because I knew we were competing for badges 
So I basically knew I had to steal everything and anything. <laughs> I practically nearly stole like a whole panel of the wall. I literally, I took a sewing machine. I took an <laughs> overlocker. I took scissors, the glue gun. Um, what else did I steal? I stole all my like Snatch Game cards. Uh -huh. I stole the sign from Snatch Game. You know what's good though? Because you had a break, I feel like you got to steal a good portion of stuff and then you came back and got to steal more because you- Oh yeah, you had emptied out my yeah, suitcase and, and I was you... back for more, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They said, oh, luggage limit. I said, okay, well, I'll half it. I'll do half now, half later. And it was great though. Stealing yes. stuff from Drag Race is great. And another thing that's great about <laughs> Love you, don't, don't sue me. You wrote a book. Yes, I wrote a book, Lawrence Cheney, Drag Queen of Scots. Because it's like Mary Queen of Scots, yes. only I'm a drag, drag queen. queen. of Scots, Get got it? you. Yeah. See? How was that to be writing a book? Well, it's so bizarre. I never knew I could read, let alone write. So I'm just so thrilled. You know, I wrote this book and... The, the publishers came to me and I said, I will only do this book if I can write it in like the, the way, way I talk. Yes. Because I thought to write a book, you have to be like, one does write a fucking book. Um, but it turns out, no, you can talk a whole load of shit in some pages and people like it. You know, it's, it's just brilliant. And um, yeah, I, I just really enjoy it. And it's so nice to meet people that have said they've read it or they've mm -hmm. listened to the audio book of it. I read the audiobook, it's just amazing. I mean, I just to be able to have your face on a cover in a bookstore too. Like, I know. Are you in a library? I'm in a library getting read, <laughs> yes. Well, this is the thing as well, is I brought my book with me to DragCon and we've sold out of it already. We sold out yesterday halfway through. Wow. I brought like a whole weekend supply of books and we sold out yesterday. So just, what an amazing, it's just genuinely so humbling for me because like, I'm from the UK. Yeah. I didn't realize anyone watched our season here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought it was insane that you'd watched it and you'd love Drag Race as much as me. Yes. So it's just amazing. And amazing. then you got to be with um, my Judy, who I produce, Jinx Monsoon, doing oh. her podcast. Were you in the closet with her? Oh. <laughs> 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 well, I never uh, kiss and tell. No, um, I, I just love Jinx so much. I, I think Jinx is one of my all-time heroes and I think in my opinion she's gonna win. I so I'm seven. rooting. I am rooting. Well I'm rooting for the Vivian because Viv is yes. one of my girls but I, I think Jinx is gonna win. Jinx is just so talented and I think her talent really stands the test of time. You know yes, yes it's been a while since her season and people shade her for that but she looks amazing. Looks amazing. Yeah, so, so good. So, for the viewers at home, what we are doing, yes. for those who couldn't attend DragCon, is we're having queens... <laughs> <laughs> we're having queens sign a lipstick tube, and then one... Yeah. One random Shady. fan will get a lipstick signed by you. Are you down for that? No, how dare, no, how dare you? Lawrence Cheney's walking out of the interview of now. Course, He's done. Of He's course, of course, I'll do it. Um, do you have a pen? Yeah, we'll do it after everything. I just wanted to give all the fans the heads up. So I'll do it. Do it. She'll do it. Um, so write your favorite comment down below. Can One I not just write person. Dela's name on it? You should on yeah. the side. I'll just write Bendela's name. <laughs> I'm eliminating Bendela from life. From life? Yeah. So, Lawrence, um, I'm about to have to let you go, but I want you to plug yourself. Don't let me go. I know. Don't let me go. Let me go. Yeah. Um, you have your, your Tartan Around show. What Tartan else Around you want to show on Wow Presents Plus. I have my book, Drag Queen of Scots. You can find me on social media, on Instagram at Lawrence Cheney. And you can find me on Twitter at Shady Lawrence, because I'm shady. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? I get it. Comedy. Comedy. There we go. Well, Would you like to plug yourself, or can I butt plug you? Butt plug me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. After the show. After the after show. After the show. <laughs> well, guys, I'm Joseph Shepard. That's Lawrence Cheney. Thank Lawrence you for stopping Cheney. by. Lawrence Cheney's gonna go plug my butt in the bathroom. Bye, guys.